okay so i want to change the span size of first one so if you notice the first grid item also has a class of item one so let us target that grid let me remind you that these were the elements inside the grid so we have so if you make a container as a display grid so all the child elements will be grid items okay so on that so basically item one is also a child element so on that we can use uh, grid row so we can use grid row property by which we can define the starting point of the element and ending row of the element so the starting row as well as the ending row so if i switch on the grid layout here so as you can see uh, this is the i'm talking about the row line okay so this is the first row second row that's good but let us see what a row line is this is the first row line you see the one here this is the first row line and this is the you can see two here so this is the second row line and finally you can see the three here so this is the third row line so basically what i want is i want the one so the one child container one element to span from row line one to row line three right now it is only going from row line one to two but i want it from one to three so i have i can specify it by targeting this div here so i have targeted the item one and by using grid row i can specify the starting point starting row and the ending row ending row line okay so i want it to start uh, in the first row line and i want it to end in third row line so as soon as i type three you see so previously it was in as it was ending in second row line so like this but i change it to three so now what actually happens is this first div here starts from row line one and goes till row line three great so another way uh, this this works fine this works good another way of doing this is i can also specify by span okay so what it means is i can also do the same thing by writing this so what it means is start at row line one okay we are starting at row line one and span two rows okay we are talking about the row here so it means now two rows so we are spanning two rows so it's create the exactly same effect okay so these are this this is the alternative way of doing that so let us come back to three again so we are starting from row line one and going till row line three great so now as you can see two is in the correct position okay so now let us make this four here this four we want to make it like this here okay so basically let's let's first target it and then i will explain so item four okay so let me open the grid now here as you can see first of all let us change the row size okay as you can see the here the four is in the second column but first of all i want it in the third column so first of all let's set the column thing here so basically i want to define the column so i will write grid column okay so basically i want to define the starting column and the ending column line so if you see here and this one okay so this is the first column line and it is written to here this is the second column line this is the third column line and this is fourth column line okay so i want this four 
to start from third column line basically i want it in the third column okay so i want to start it from the third column line and go up till fourth column line okay so let us do that i want it to start from third column line and go till fourth column line so as you can see although the it is not like this but it is actually in the correct column at least earlier it was in second column but now it was in third column so the column part is done basically now what i wanted to let me show you again here so right now this fourth div here this fourth child element so let us see the row part actually so if you see this is the row line one this is row line two and this is row line three so right now the four is starting from row line two okay one two here also you can see two is written so four is starting from row line two and going till row line three okay but i want it to start from top so i want it to start from row line one and go till row line three so the same thing basically what we have done here so grid row i want it to start from row line one and go till row line three so as you can see now these are arranged perfectly and two and three are in their correct position so i don't think we need to change them you can also override them you can target them and place you know for example but actually they are in correct position so let me show you anyway so like we can target the two here and we can make it like grid row so we want to start it from the top so first row line and go to second row line so it makes no effect because it was already in correct position so let's not you know target unnecessary okay so basic layout we have done we have done like this kind of, kind of layout, basic layout okay okay so one more thing basically if you see here first thing this this whole container is center aligned this is center aligned here and it is also little bit less in width so right now it is occupying full width because you know we have never set the width so by default a div element occupies the full width of the you know viewport so inside container let me add some more style here so first of all i want to set a width let us say 500 pixels okay let's make uh, sorry let's make it 600 even 700 will work i think yes okay so now let us align in center by using margin so margin top bottom we want suppose for 20 pixels and left and right we want bottom so this will be center along okay so before adding these elements before adding the button and text i want to do one more thing uh, so if you see the one here basically and let's let's first do this because that way it will be easier to see let's first uh, apply the avatar image so it is basic avatar uh, uh, basically an image file here okay so instead of one i want the image 